It's day seven on our adventure of the seas cruise. Yesterday was a day at sea. Today we arrived in Freeport Harbor, Grand Bahama Island. Today we will be staying on the ship uh, because we didn't really love any of the excursions and we do love the ship. Yeah, there was only like six to choose from, I think because of the new COVID policies and things. Um, and we didn't love any of the six. There's a carnival ship back there and a requirement for every Caribbean cruise port, senior frogs. So they normally load the ship with supplies when the ship boards, like boarding and departing day. Yeah. But now they're loading it in Grand Bahama, which is just one of our ports of call, which is kind of interesting. Now we're going to go to the Windjammer for breakfast. The WJ, if you will. What is that chocolate sauce? Uh, it's chocolate sauce. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> it's keeping those skills alive. So we haven't had a chance to play mini golf yet. And we're rectifying that right now. Ryan's beating me by one now. Um, so I do hate him. But As now, usual. <laughs> exactly. Now I'm going to hit it into this boat, and it looks like it's some sort of shortcut to a hole in one. Okay. Easy peasy. Do it. Oh, okay. Uh. Show me how it's done, dear. Okay, how many shots are you taking for this? If the ball doesn't stop, it's all like it's all like one shot. No, that's not true. This hole is really cool because you hit it in here, and then eventually, there it goes. And then we finish the rest of the course down there. Oh. How come it didn't give me a hole in one? I don't know, but this is a cool setup for the course. It is. This hole was very cruel to me, but very kind to Brian. So it still wasn't a hole in one. Why don't you finish it up? Well done, sir. Okay, we made it to the last hole, hole number nine. Did you get it? Here it comes. It's Plinko. Oh, Plinko. <laughs> Okay, what the heck? It took all that work to get in the clam and I don't even get a hole in one. This game sucks. I think by now we can safely say that Brian won. Really? Um, we both suck, but I'd say Brian won. We're bringing our uh, putters and balls back and they have pickleball set up, which is pretty cool. Do you want to play pickleball? No, I don't have any sneakers, but I am uh, wiping off our stuff. We thought we'd show you guys a nice room tour of our humble abode, room 1624. On a, deck 10. It's a junior suite, um, and it's been our home for the past six days. First thing what everyone wants to see first is the balcony, so we'll go out there first. I find it to be quite large and yeah. spacious. Um, it is a bit of a cove. Yes. Um, but I believe every room on board the Adventure of the Seas is like that, but I Yeah, think it's very private. Like, you can't see the people next to you unless you lean over. Yeah, no neighbor interaction. Two chairs, a table, and a light that doesn't work. No, it does. Oh, it, yeah. It flickers. Oh, yeah. As soon as you enter in off the balcony, you have your lovely living room, which consists of two very nice chairs, one large sofa, and a coffee table. I do believe that this sofa converts into a bed. Is that true, Brian? I don't know. Well, Probably. that's what we believe. We'll believe it, so it's true. Exactly. We did find a ladybug in our room, though. We did. This place is infested with bugs. <laughs> Just kidding, it's on the picture headboard, which is actually quite soft so that if you hit your head on it... Probably softer than the bed. <laughs> 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 
Here's our royal king bed, which is two twin beds put together with like a mattress cover on top to help combine them. Um, and we each have our own nightstands on either side. But we should know that there are no plugs yeah. next to these nightstands. There's only these two plugs over here for the whole room. Plus... Plus a European plug, but you know. Since we're over here, this has become my vanity. I've used this central drawer for all of my makeup needs, but there are two sets of drawers on either side, so we each have a place to put our stuff. We didn't even use this cabinet. Oh, wow, yeah. So I will say, if that couch is a bed, there's plenty of room for another guest to stay in here. Now this is our walk-in closet. This is what we have been using. It's a mess in there right now, but there's tons of shelving, tons of hanging space, tons of floor space for all of your suitcases. It's fantastic. It was actually kind of nice. It was so nice. There is this fridge here, but don't call it a fridge. It's a cooler and it keeps things about- Room temperature. Literally maybe five degrees colder than room temperature. It's not the greatest. Um, but this has been sort of Brian's workspace or like tech space where we're charging all of our stuff. There's additional cabinets up here. You're safe, not big enough to hold a laptop. Shout out to Danny. More space up here. We've been keeping our waters here. Oh, you know what's weird is they, they did give us this extension cord. I don't even and we don't know out. why. They just put this in our room, so we kind of hid it up here because we didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Um, additional space over here by the nice TV. There's space up here. Again, we're not even using it, so like there's tons of storage space in here. And then there's this space down here, which I'm holding all of my bathing suits in. Mm. There's a lovely, almost floor to ceiling mirror here. But not really. <laughs> But you can see your outfit, which is what's important. You can see your shoes in it. And it has some nice storage there as well. The bathroom. I kind of think this is one of the greatest perks of being in a junior suite. We have a tub. Normally you don't get a tub. Great storage um, in these mirrors. It's nice that you can sort of tuck things away. You know what we should say is, um, the shower has amazing water pressure. It really does. And I've only had like one not so hot shower. Everything else has been like burning hot. We've had to yeah. turn it to like the cold section because it's been so great. Mine has been great each time. It's fantastic. That's pretty much it. Welcome to room 1624. I loved it. It's I, been a I loved home. the location. I think it's the location is amazing. If we came back on this ship, I would want the same room again. This room was so great because directly upstairs is Windjammer and the pool and everything great. And if you go all the way down, it's the dining room. So it's like all the food locations are right here. Yeah. So what are we doing now? We're doing morning trivia, dear. I'll be interested to see how many people are actually doing this this morning because we're in port. I'm also interested to see um, how many answers we can get right because <laughs> We only know so much. <laughs> and I got my proudly serving Starbucks. It's not real Starbucks, but it's... It's as close as you can get. It's something. <laughs> These old people are gonna smoke us. What number system uses only the digits zero and one? <gasps> what number system uses my only the digits My programming classes are finally coming to use. Binary. So we did All horrible. Right. We got seven okay, so out of seven. Do you want more questions? So let's continue. We suck. We're outside on deck four and we just noticed a couple interesting things. First, that's um, one of the vision class vision, vision class ships over there in dry dock. The grandeur of the seas. Yep, and then right next to us we have a boat or a ship. Actually. We have a ship right next to our ship. Um, you think this is a I, ship, not a boat? Yeah, this looks like a ship. Um, attached to us, which is um, fueling us. We're, we're fueling up here. And I'm uh, taking out my cigarette, lighting it, <laughs> dropping it. Yeah, it actually, they said um, no smoking on, on any outdoor deck, so I said, And what did you say? 
I said you can't be on, on deck because you're smoking. <laughs> so now we're heading to the Windjammer for lunch, but let me just stop for a second and show you. This Love a, handles, that's funny. Oh, this is a thing we pass by every day walking out of our room. I love it. It's art. It is. We got our food at the Windjammer. My plate actually looks pretty good today. I got a burger, fries, and some ribs. Mine looks pretty random, but baked pasta, fries, and steak. We just got all decked out in our long sleeves and pants so that we can yeah. go ice cool. skating. So we gotta go put on our skates now. Good thing you have that spirit jersey. Oh my god, I'm freezing. I'm a, a hugger of the walls. New rule, you can't touch the wall. Now imagine doing the, like a 360 and the things that they were doing. Do here. it! Okay, time for my jump. Well, that was pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> now, now what are we gonna do? I think we're gonna go to the pool, which is an interesting contrast. Yes. After a fun day of lounging in the sun at the pool and going on the flow rider and the water slides, we are heading down to the main dining room for our final meal. Happy Thanksgiving! Just kidding, but we did get <laughs> <laughs> we did get roasted turkey for dinner. It looks so good. It looks really good. So why was this the best meal? Um, because Royal Caribbean knows how to cook poultry. That's why. Like, I think this was maybe the best dinner we've had. This was really good. Do you think it's better than Izumi and Giovanni's? It's close. It's really close. I think it is. I think it's, it is too, yeah. Think fast. What are your top three meals from this trip? This. My fried chicken, night one. Yeah. And my spaghetti bolognese from Giovanni's. But appetizers are a different story because Zumi's appetizer was delicious. <laughs> yeah. But you told me to think fast and I did entrees only. Okay, so same question. What are your top three meals? Not in this order. I don't know what the order is, but this, the turkey, um, snack shack chicken sandwich, and then Izumi. Yeah, I'm taking out the camera for dessert because it is that good. This is the greatest thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. This has been our best meal. I don't know what, they they want to keep you coming back for more? Is that it? Yeah. Like, I mean, this is incredible. Do we say what it is? It's a brownie with caramel and vanilla ice cream. And a marshmallow on top. It's just so good. This is from the meal. We are now going to see the comedian. We saw him last night. We're going again. We're going to go again. He did have a lot of, like most of his stuff was audience interaction. So we're thinking that it'll be different enough to see. Okay, so it looks like his name is Al Romas. We don't have reservations, so we're not sure if we're gonna be able to get in. And it's pretty last minute. So we got in we without did. reservations. Easy didn't, peasy. Didn't seem to be a problem. It would be really hard to be a comedian um, in this theater because they've locked so many seats off for physical distancing. Um, and so, you know, the laughs aren't that loud. And there's less people to interact with and all that yeah. stuff, but Last night, he did a fantastic job, so. Okay, we left the show, and now we're outside of Windjammer here, and they have something really cool on the walls. So every time the Adventure of the Seas goes to a port for the first time, um, that city or that port will give them a little plaque. And so- First port of call. Yeah, so the Adventure of the Seas went to Kristensund, Norway, for the first time October 29th, 2001. And all of these have like inaugural call for each time this ship visited that port for the first time. It's really cool. And it's cool seeing how many places the, the ship has been. Absolutely. Oh, the port of Sydney. I was going to say Sydney, Australia, but no, it's Sydney, Canada. Okay. Maine. Portland. 
Maine, Portland, Maine, not Oregon. <laughs> uh, Quebec. So yeah, we just noticed this and thought it was cool. And yeah. So now I think we're gonna go back to the room and pack up. But someone's there waiting for us. Gus? What do you think he's gonna be? A turtle. Oh, I hope so. Maybe? Oh no. There's tra this is tragic. Where's Gus? Okay, we don't have a Gus. <laughs> Okay. Wait, but what is this? We do have a cool certificate wow. signed by Captain Kristoff really? of, uh, you know, Frozen fame uh, saying, welcome back to adventure, which is cool. This is really cool. It says, thank you for being among the first guests to sit, set sail with us again. Do you think that only this cruise will get that? or will I hope so, because I don't want anyone else to have it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's cooler than a gust. Though. Yeah, I mean... They just don't want it would have been cool if Gus was holding it. Yeah. Gus the turtle. Oh, our bill. Oh, that's fun. We can just throw that away. Okay. So we're well on our way from Freeport, Grand Bahama to Nassau. And Nassau is well where we will get off tomorrow morning. We do have an excursion, um, which is touring Nassau. And then it ends at the airport. So maybe we'll tack that on to, to the end of this video. It is now our last morning. We got all packed up. The room looks nice and clean now, which is weird. Yeah. Um, we had to leave our bags out outside at 10 p.m., which that was fun to get packed right after dinner and put our bags out. Yeah, we did it. We took a full hour. We got them out like right at 10. Yeah. Um, and then so for everyone else getting off the ship, everyone was given a number and on the TV and they're, they'll be making announcements of calling those numbers and then that's when you get off the ship. And you're supposed to stay in your stateroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how they're doing it physically distant. Yeah. Which is great. But we have a shore excursion this morning so we do have to go to a lounge and wait for people yeah. and such. So we're getting some early breakfast and then we'll head there. Our excursion is a tour of Nassau that ends at the airport. Which is cool because obviously we need to go to the airport. And I think it's getting us to the airport around 9.30 and our flight is around 12.30, which is perfect because they suggest three to three and a half hours for getting through the airport. So we have to meet at the Imperial Lounge at 7.15 for this excursion. What time is it right, currently? Right now it's like six, so we have to go to the Windjammer get breakfast. We have to. Yeah. Let's go. I'm wearing this hoodie, not because it's cold, but because I have no more room in any backpack to put it because my huge ship slippers take up all the space. <laughs> Same with my spirit jersey. So very late into the cruise, we discovered you could get a custom omelet. And that is what I will be having this morning. Okay, we got our custom omelets. And uh, we had our first meal here right over there. Now our last. It's so sad. We should do another cruise. <laughs> hey, when should we do another cruise? What do you think about my birthday? <laughs> if it doesn't get canceled. Yeah. We're in the Imperial Lounge now, waiting for our tour to start. We're heading on our way out to our shore excursion. So this is our last view of the ship. <laughs> Adventure of the Seas. Now we're walking off. There she goes. Feels like yesterday they were cheering for us to get on and now they, for some reason, they want us off. Remember when we stood up there and we were looking down on people just boarding and we were looking down on them. <laughs> so yeah, now we're gonna get on a bus, I guess drive around and then go to the airport. Oh, and now we have to wear a mask again. It was nice to live in a world where things were kind of normal again and have your face mask off and be comfortable in front of people. Okay, the tour just ended and we're getting off the bus. And now we gotta go find our bags here. We we're, we're at the airport here and our bags 
would be over here. We should say that we were given a number and our bags would be at that number. Our number is one, which makes sense because we're number one. We found our bags. Hopefully the line isn't too long in here. We've heard that it could be pretty brutal. So this is absolute insanity. We're inside the airport now, uh, trying to check our bags in. Every single airline is like in the same line and it's so confusing because it's like, are you United? Are you American? I don't know. It's like, this is what happens when literally every single person on the ship is getting off and coming to this small airport yeah. at the same exact time. It just doesn't have the capacity actually. No. So the Nassau airport is absolutely crazy. Ay, 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 it was insane. Um, and our flight, which was originally connecting from Nassau to Miami, Miami to Orlando, got delayed. Um, we were so gonna miss our flight to Orlando because of it. And we were freaking out. Everything there, was booked up. Yeah, there was no other flights. Even if we got to Miami, we couldn't get to Orlando. We would have to like take a rental car. It would have been horrible. We were freaking out. But they hooked us up and American Airlines got us tickets on JetBlue. And now we're actually getting home quicker on a nonstop flight. Yeah, and it was free, which I don't even know how that worked. Um, and we got the last two seats. And serendipity, Brian was looking for a fun mug from Starbucks to add to his collection. And I got it. And we got it. So and the trip is complete. We had a great time on our cruise. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon for our next trip aboard Freedom of the Seas.